Hello, my name is Dr. Mark Alberts, Professor of Neurology and Director of the Stroke Program at Northwestern University and Northwestern Memorial Hospital in Chicago. Welcome to this Medscape Stroke Update. What I would like to do for the next few minutes is update you on a landmark trial, namely the PROFESS trial. This was recently published online in the New England Journal of Medicine, and the hard copy of it will come out very shortly in that same journal. PROFESS was a landmark trial in that it enrolled over 20,000 patients with a recent ischemic stroke. Half of the patients got Plavix, 75 milligrams a day, and half got Agronox, one capsule twice a day. The primary outcome in PROFESS was the first recurrence of any stroke, ischemic, hemorrhagic, or stroke of unknown etiology. Now, PROFESS was designed as a non-inferiority trial to prove that Agronox was not inferior to Plavix. And by strict interpretation of the study rules, it did not meet that endpoint. However, if you look at the actual outcomes, they were really almost identical in terms of the first recurrence of all strokes was essentially 9% in both groups and no statistically significant difference. What's curious is that if you look at the stroke types that were prevented or not prevented, in terms of recurrent stroke, there is a difference. In terms of both agents did a good job preventing recurrent ischemic stroke. But interestingly and unexpectedly, in the Agronox group, there were more hemorrhagic strokes. And this was statistically significant when you compare the hemorrhagic strokes with Agronox compared to Plavix. So this was a surprise that there were more hemorrhagic strokes with Agronox compared to Plavix and more major hemorrhagic events with Agronox compared to Plavix. Now if you look at net benefit for prevention of recurrent strokes or major hemorrhagic events, here the differences tended to go away between the two groups. Now if you look at the secondary endpoint, which was stroke, MI, or vascular death, the event rates were identical between the two groups, 13.1% in both groups. In terms of medication withdrawal because of side effects, this was more common with Agronox than Plavix. And these side effects that were seen more with Agronox than Plavix included headache, GI upset, dizziness, and fainting. So at the end of the day, what did PROFESS tell us? Well, number one, overall the event rates were similar between Plavix and Agronox. Plavix was better tolerated in terms of fewer dropouts from drug-induced side effects. Plavix was associated with fewer major bleeding events, including intracranial hemorrhage. In terms of the secondary endpoint of stroke MI or vascular death, these were equal. By strict interpretation of study rules, the study failed to show that Agronox was not inferior to Plavix. But the event rates were basically equal, again, except for withdrawal because of drug-induced side effects. So those are the main results from PROFESS. Now, another part of PROFESS looked at the ARB telmosartan in terms of secondary stroke prevention, and that part of the study will be uh, discussed in another Medscape stroke update. Thank you very much for watching.